Wednesday, Italy's art capital Florence showed no signs that it was about to host a major European football match and Everton fans could neither be seen nor heard. But soon it was clear the first fans had arrived in the city and they brought with them high expectations of a party atmosphere as well as a great result. They're all arriving today and tomorrow morning. Very good party tonight, especially or tomorrow night, especially if we get the win. He's never had any trouble with Everton. I'm more here for the culture. Uh, <laughs> I, I like to have a good look round and, you know, explore the city and see the good things in the city and then perhaps have one or two drinks. Well, it's early days. We round about, what, one o'clock here? It's about one o'clock. One o'clock, here, yeah. it's early days and the time we checked in and got ourselves sorted. So if you come back round about here around nine o'clock tonight, well, it's early it'll be a different atmosphere. It's early trust me. It's early. Just wandering around, sightseeing. Yeah. Uh, looking for some bars though. Yeah, awesome. It's awesome. One all. 2-1 We'll nick it 2-0. 1-0, hopefully. As the night wore on, for some the sweetness of the trip away began to wear sour. Fans who came without tickets had their hopes dashed and wary local bar owners threatened to ruin their celebrations. Jim Gillen from Fazakali explained. It's been a nice day but I'm very disappointed. Can I pay the tickets? Tomorrow the bars are closed. Free newspaper that was given out in, in the airport said hooligans from England and before they even met us. I'm a grandfather and I just want to enjoy my football. The days of football hooligans are over in our country and we're trying to bring that to Europe. That no one, no one's so we just want to enjoy yourself. It's a holiday in one respect.